Hey, how's it going on y'all? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video we are going to be talking about how you can improve your FPS, boost your PC's performance and fix all kind of issues with Stalker 2 dropped recently. I hope this guy helps you out and this is the only guy that you have to look for so make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings as usual and for that you have to go over to settings on your PC, head over to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of CPU and GPU utilization in the background and disabling that will help you to improve your PC's performance. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and then enable game mode. This will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, enabling better performance and reducing notifications. Go back to graphics here and then click on change default graphics settings. Then enable optimizations for windowed games, head back to graphics once again and it will open up a list of all of the applications and programs that utilizes your GPU primarily. Click on the browse button over here and then go over to the download location of your game. Once you find a game, click on add, hit stalker2.exe, click on add. Go over to options, select high performance and then click on save. Click on the browse button once again, head over to stalker2, binaries, win64 and you'll find stalker2 win64 shipping.exe. Click on add over here as well, head over to options, select high performance and this will utilize your GPU to render the games. Once that is done, simply close your settings. Step number two is the compatibility settings and for that, head over to steam where you have purchased the game, right click on that, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. It will take you to this folder, head over to stalker2, binaries, win64 and you'll find stalker2 win64 shipping.exe. Right click on that, head over to properties. Once you're here, click on compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations. Then click on change high dpi settings, select override high dpi scaling behavior, click on ok, click on apply and then click on ok. Ok, before moving ahead, I want to tell you guys about Ezus voice wave which is a super amazing voice changer powered with AI, offering over 300 voices and a completely customized environment which you can download from the link in the description below. You can not only use it real time but you can also use it to change voices in pre-recorded audios and videos. And here is how my voice sounds like in this application. And it is super amazing. So go check out Ezus Voice Wave from the link in the description below. Step number three is creating a restore point. And for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC. And once you're here, click on create. Name it Stalker 2, just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is downloading the Stalker 2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can also join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Once you're here, you'll find five simple folders. First one is CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click on the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. This will help you to set the correct SFIO priority for your processor and improve the performance. Head over to the second folder, which is the most important part over here. That is Stalker 2 priority. Click on that and you'll find in three priorities. First one is above normal. Second one is high priority. I want you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority to choose from over here. You can simply double click to apply them and once that is done, head back to the folder. Next one is the RAM optimization folder in which I have left a ton of RAM optimizations. Once again, I have 32GB RAM so I need to apply this registry. It could be different for you so you have to run according to your PC. And once again, if you guys face any issues with that, you can always reset it back to default if that doesn't work out as expected. Fourth folder is the power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate power plan. Right click and then click on run as administrator. This will import a power plan which you guys can check over here. This is the ultimate performance that will be added if you run that command. Simply select that and this will optimize all of your PC's resources and optimally use your power. Ensure that you do not lose any FPS. This will also help you to shut down all kind of power saving features which will be improving your PC's performance in general. Next folder is programs in which I have left some important programs. First one is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Right click on this as administrator. This will open up the MSI Mode Utility. You guys have to find your graphic card over here. Click on the MSI button in front of it and for the end of priority set this thing to high and then click on apply. This will set up the correct SFIO priority for your graphic card and improve your GPU's performance overall. Next is 
is unparked CPU and this is a super useful application. You guys can simply open it up by double clicking on it. And uh, over here, you will see enabled cores and park cores. Windows by default has a tendency to park the cores which are not in use and this is used to save power. Once again, if you guys are playing games, these park cores can affect your PC's performance and to fix that, you guys have to slide this parking index up to 100% and then click on apply. This will make sure that all of the cores are enabled and none of them are parked and it will increase the overall CPU's performance. Simply close it, close your FPS back. Now next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that press Control shift and escape all together on your PC and this will open up task manager. Head over to startup applications over here and start disabling all of the applications that you do not use right after the boot of your PC. This will not only reduce your last BIOS time but will also help you to improve your PC's performance as less number of processes will be running simultaneously while you're playing the games. Next step is disabling sysmain and for that head over to services.msc on your PC and once you're over here look for S on your keyboard and then find sysmain. Right click on that head over to properties and for the startup type set this thing to disabled. If this service is already running on your PC you can simply press on stop as this consumes a lot of CPU and RAM resources in the background and it affects your games directly. In most cases sysmain is not really important for your PC and disabling that will help you to improve your PC's performance. However if you guys see any performance drop or your PC is not performing well you can always enable it and set this thing to automatic and this will set these things to the default values. Once that is done you can simply close your services. Next step is the best launch option setting and this is really important. What you guys have to do is go over to Steam and if you guys have a super low end PC right click on Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl click on properties. This will open up the general properties of your game. For the launch option over here you have to press a hyphen and then use high over here and then space hyphen and then type in DX11. This will help you to use all resources for this game and it will reduce the priority of other applications in the background and increase the priority of your game while you're playing that and the DX11 will use the step down version of your DirectX that is DirectX 12 in the latest. It will step it down to DX11 and ensure that you're gaining the highest FPS possible. This will also fix in general a lot of black screen issues and game crashes but if not I'll be making another separate guide for fixing those errors. Once that is done you can now drop into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, so once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to options. Over here, go down to graphics and then you'll find overall quality. Go with custom. Texture quality should be set to medium. Hair quality, low. Object details, medium. Effects quality and materials, low. For post-processing, go with post-processing, anti-aliasing, motion blur quality, low. Motion blur strength should be 100%. Depth of field should be low. Light shaft should be disabled. Sharpness should be set to 30%. For upscaling method, you guys can use FSR for A. AMD GPUs and NVIDIA DLSS for NVIDIA GPUs and Intel Zest for Intel GPUs. Upscaling quality should be set to quality. FSR 3 frame generation, you have to enable this. Shading quality and global illumination should be set to medium. Reflection should be set to low. Shadow quality should be set to medium. And for the environment quality, everything should be set to medium except fog and foliage quality that should be set to low. Once that is done, head over to the display settings over here. And then for the screen mode, go with full screen exclusive. Display resolution should be a native resolution. FOV, you guys can increase it if you want to. Vsync should be set to disabled. Frame rate should be set to no limits. Contrast, brightness and gamma should be your preference. Image encoding should be sRGB. And once that is done, press F to apply all of these settings onto your PC. Once it's done, you guys can now go back into the game and enjoy the best FPS possible in Stalker 2. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We have also rolled channel membership. So if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership. And that is it for this video. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.